We've been trying to accelerate the finite element solver. So you have these structural analysis problems, let's say earthquakes and well, fluid dynamics, everything you want. And basically this gets, when you want to solve to do the simulation, you mesh, you partition the problem into small, small, small pieces. And it basically becomes a matrix, a very big matrix. And there are two ways of solving this matrix. You can solve it directly, or another method which works very well for parallel architectures. It's a kind of an optimization problem. And it's a, sorry, iterative solvers. So you do iterations. You run a number of times. And the problem with this kind of solver, we're trying to run it on a standard processor, is that they are, all the operations inside are very bandwidth limited. So. Of course, we turned. We, we looked from FPGA and other type of architecture, but from a price performance, the, the GPU was like the, the bandwidth is ten times larger, and that's exactly what we need. So basically, the performance should be ten times bigger. I've been doing programming for some time now, like I don't know in various la various languages. I think that the, my basic uh, yeah the C is what I like most. So I'm, I'm using most, and of course, yeah, Java. But it, well, it it, it wasn't such a steep learning curve. No, it, it's anyway much much easier than when you looking what to do in FPGA, for example. So it's it's well, it was it was easy.